just not a fan of the mornings. I, I don't like waking up. It's not this pleasing feeling. I don't wake up and I'm like, oh, joyous. Good morning, world. And yes, I slept in a long sleeve. I've been sleeping in long sleeves lately because it gets cold at night and I don't want to be cold. I sleep like this little log next to Janice because he's warm and I'm not. And it takes me a long time to warm up my little spot in bed. So I just like sleep like a little stick next to him trying to steal his warmth. The last two days, this pigeon has been visiting my balcony and he just makes these awful little noises. Ooh, 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 ooh. And my cat sits there and he tries to catch him through the glass. He'll like stop in this frozen position. And then sometimes he'll go up to the glass and like scratch it like this just for a long time and make the little noises like chuk, 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 on the glass, hoping that by some miracle he'll get through. And um, I don't really like it. I don't really like pigeons, you know, they, poop everywhere and they're dirty little birds. But at least my cat gets a smidge of entertainment in the mornings and um, he can dream about going outside and catching the pigeon, which is pretty unlikely because he has a really hard time catching those big, big flies in the house. And that takes him a while, but it also keeps him occupied. So. Um, I just like dodge the fly when it comes around and hope my cat will catch it within the next hour. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's not, he's not the best. Well then, good morning. Today I am going to go to this library that is about 25 minutes away because I checked out a book for my Catalan class, but it turns out it was the wrong book. So now I have to go return it and it's kind of far away. But on the way, let's see what we can find. I like to sit out here in the winters because it's the warmest place in the house. The light streams in in the early afternoon and so you get this little warm area of the house. There isn't uh, another place in the house that gets direct sunlight in the winter so I try to sometimes stay over here. Soak up a little bit of the sun.
I have one pair of pants for the winter. So yes, I basically wear the same thing every day. Just change my top. Okay, I have two pants that I can use for the winter, but one of them gets really wrinkly. They're both corduroy, but the other pants have wider bottoms, and so they get really wrinkly, and you can't really wear them out if you don't iron them. I, they would look bad, so I don't wear them. I am at a park that is right above the library, so essentially a piece of the roof of the library is part of the park. And also in the center of the park they have the town hall of this area of Barcelona. It is called San Gervasi. Hello, hello. So last weekend before coming to Sri Lanka, on last Sunday before we came on this trip, we went to a festival that is called Loom Fest. Loom is uh, light in Catalan. And so there were various art installations in this one district of Barcelona that is called Poblano. And so there was a whole section in the beginning in a park that was light installations from the uni from university students. And then the second half that we went to that was more spots around the city, those were installations created by artists for the festival. And it was really fun, it was nice. One of the installations that we really liked was one of the first ones by an artist that we saw and it was this huge cube of light and it's funny because the next day we read in the newspaper that normally the festival goes until midnight until 12 a.m but they had to turn off this specific installation at 9 p.m because the light was so bright that it was bothering the neighbors that were in the apartment building next to <laughs> next to the installation Now we have to go to number 11. 
love it. One of the installations that I also liked, they were like, they looked like pink bags that were hanging off a building. I think they looked like boobs, basically. In front of it, on the bottom, there were these microphones where people could go and scream and yell. And the lights that were a deep pink, they would get brighter. They look in the No. No, but they look in the there was also another one that was on the side of a building and people would go up to a camera and the AI would give you a job like nurse, manager, flight attendant, teacher. And it was really funny because Jobless. some of the ones for the men would say sister or mother.